So because of an incident, Tumblr announced on December 17th that they will no longer have what they call adult content on their website, which, of course, sparked this response. All right, I'm just trying to lighten the mood. It's been a frustrating couple of days. Uh, I have friends that are body paint artists and they've been trying to get their stuff off of Tumblr and we tried all sorts of different things. We finally found something that works and I'm gonna share that with you now. So here's what does work. You need to use Tumblr. Go into your account, go into settings, then find the blog that you wanna download or save. Go ahead and click on that and then scroll all the way to the bottom and click on export to start the export process. Now, I know some of you have done this. That's one of the reasons I did this video because you were freaking out because it takes hours or I had in two cases, it took three and a half days. And that obviously is a problem since this is the 12th and they're gonna cut it off at the 17th. So like, as soon as this video is done, you need to get it in there and you need to click that button. It will take a long time, but it will work. The problem is you got 5 billion people trying to get their stuff off of here in time. And the, pro the back end process that creates the zip file is just going nuts. So after hours or days, I'm telling you, it could take days and you do not need to leave the window open. You don't have to leave your computer on or anything like that. Just go in every so often and check and see. And eventually you will see uh, an export button to download your file. So at that point, you're 90% of the way there. Next, you have to download that file. And I say that like that because in this particular case, the file was 39 gigs. Now we were on a gigabit ethernet, so it didn't take more than a half an hour, an hour or something like that. But obviously it can take quite some time for the file to download. The next problem you're gonna run into is that there's an error in the file, but it's not fatal. But if you try to open it in Windows, it's gonna tell you it's an empty folder. Relax, it's not empty. You'll just need to open it with a third party uh, unzipping program. Okay, so huge disclaimer here. I cannot take responsibility for the different tools that are out there. I do feel that this one is safe. If I had to recommend it to my mother, I would. But again, I have to put on the disclaimer. These are third party tools that I have no control over. Um, I'm going to suggest WinZip, which was created by Corel way back when. You guys probably don't even remember Corel Draw, which was purchased by WordPerfect in Orem, Utah. And you probably don't remember WordPerfect either. But anyway, I've used WinZip for a gajillion years. And you, you don't normally get it now because Windows has unzipping built in, but it doesn't work in this particular case with this file. So we went and we got when zip again i said to you i do not take responsibility for this program so after you've installed WinZip, in my particular case um you can go ahead and open that file and bob's your uncle the files will start to extract you're going to get two errors or three errors where and that's what's causing windows to have a hiccup it's going to say something like it can't process the file i think there's a manifest file that it puts in there and for some reason um, the windows zip program dies when it can't figure out what to do with it winzip says i don't know what to do with it is it okay if i just skip it and you say skip and then at that point it will start uh, extracting your files if you got the information you were looking for in this video, please hit the like button, please hit the subscribe. This is a new channel that's made specifically to give out important information like this as quickly as possible. So if you subscribe and something comes up, more than likely I'm gonna have a video that comes out just for that. If you want uh, longer in detailed answers to questions, please check out the main channel, which is the High Tech Nomad. Uh, until the next time, this is Orman Beckles signing out.